Welcome back to This Side of 40. This is your girl, Lou. And I just wanted to bring you guys an update on my no-buy for 2019. So, start off this year pretty strong. We're in month four. I don't feel the desire to buy anything at this moment. Um, as far as cosmetics goes and or hair products, just because I feel like at this point I have like the perfect um, mesh of items in my collection for me right now. Um, then as far as clothing items, I was buying clothes for a minute there because we changed the dress code at my job. So I had to have things that were um, work appropriate. So I also feel like I've got enough clothing items. Um, as far as like jewelry and things like that, I feel like I've gotten my jewelry collection down to what I feel like I need or want. So I'm happy with that as well. Um, as far as my nails go, I really like, like that um, Menage de Polish um, project pan. I enjoy it. However, I'm not really into doing my own nails right now because, like I said before, my husband likes acrylics. And so that's basically what I'm going to be doing with my fingernails. Um, as far as like face cleansing products and everything, girl, let me tell you something. 100% honest. My skin has decided that it's going to be acting like it's 16 again. And I begin these pimples that like have names like Uncle Bob or Edmund and they take up like big parts of my face. I don't know what's wrong with me. And I can honestly say I do clean my face very thoroughly and you could tell I don't have any makeup left. However, I think my pores are getting clogged. So I have stopped using an all over face foundation and just started using just concealer under my eyes and powdering my face. And that seems to do me justice. Um, as far as like my eyebrows and everything, I am so happy with my eyebrows currently. I have a scar right here in this eyebrow. So like whenever I move my face, you guys see it's like, there seems like there's some eyebrow product right here. It's not, it's just that's how my face is because of a scar um then as far as like mascara or whatever today i wore two faces better than sex and i don't feel like it's any better than wet and wild in fact like to me like i do have eyelashes if you got close up on me they look like they look really nice however like they're not the mascara didn't give me what i wanted so I am going to use up all the mascaras that are in my collection, but I will be going into like one of those 3D um, mascaras, you know, the ones with the mascara uh, stuff and then the fibers, just because I feel like at some point I'm going to want to wear um, like looks like this, like a no makeup look. I just have on liquid liner and um, powder and a little blush and some highlight and a little highlight underneath my brows. And that's it. This is like realistically like my goal makeup look um just because to me it's like the more natural the better whatever um however i do have days where i like color um as far as like um, my eyelashes i will admit i am a person who loves eyelashes the, ext the extensions the clusters i also enjoy the strips i enjoy eyelashes I didn't really care for the magnetic eyelashes, and I know a lot of people tried them, but the magnetic ones feel really heavy on your lid. Um, they're really good for people who are allergic to the adhesive. However, for me, they were just too heavy. Um, the reality is that I can honestly say of this whole entire no bias, I've been able to enjoy new experiences. So like my husband and I, we just go on impromptu dates, or we'll just like, um, decide like oh we're gonna do this and just do something nice for one of our parents or we will um plan a trip like currently we're planning a trip and so when we go on our trip that's something that i would have spent my makeup money on and so now i don't have makeup money and it makes me feel better about the experiences i'm in having currently um the other thing that i'm learning from this no buy is i can honestly say i found my own personal kind of beauty i am so pretty with the short haircut like i believe that i'm so pretty right now with my hair being cut this short it's actually um grown out quite a bit because i had some hearts right here and they're gone um however i feel very beautiful with my hair being cut this short 
I can admit that my hair has grown out several times and I never felt as beautiful as I do currently. Um, I, I thank you guys for watching. I please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next month with some updates on my no-buy.